Dihydrogen H2 combines with unsaturated hydrocarbons in the presence of catalysts to form alkanes. This process is called hydrogenation. Hydrogenation of an alkyne proceeds in steps fashion, forming an alkene first, then an alkane. It is carried out on the surface of catalysts such as palladium, platinum and rainy nickel at ordinary temperatures and pressures. Alkyl halides react with magnesium in the presence of dry diethyl ether to form alkyl magnesium halides or Grignard's reagents. These compounds have a polar carbon magnesium bond owing to which they react readily with compounds having active hydrogens such as water, acids, salts, ammonia, amines, etc. to form alkanes. Dehydration of alcohols in the presence of an acid gives alkenes. When alcohol vapors are passed over alumina at around 623 Kelvin, alkenes are formed. Secondary and tertiary alcohols are best dehydrated by acid catalysts such as concentrated sulfuric acid. For example, on dehydration, propan-2-ol gives propene. Concentrated phosphoric 5 acid H3PO4 or anhydrous zinc chloride may also be used for dehydration of alcohols. Cyclohexanol on dehydration gives cyclohexene. A series of steps is involved in the mechanism of dehydration of alcohols. The acid protonates the alcohol on oxygen. This process is usually reversible. In the second step, the protonated alcohol loses water to give a carbocation. Finally, the carbocation loses a proton to give the alkene. Haloalkanes on heating with alcoholic sodium or potassium hydroxide lose one hydrogen atom and a halogen atom from the adjacent carbon atom to give an alkene. Dehydrohalogenation is a type of beta elimination reaction. Depending upon the structure of the haloalkane, one or more isomeric alkenes are formed. Dehydrohalogenation of one chlorobutane yields but one ene. However, the elimination of hydrogen halide from 2-chlorobutane yields two products, but-1-ene and but-2-ene. The relative amounts of the products are governed by the Seitzef rule. It says that, that the major product of an elimination reaction is the more branched alkene. Alkenes can be obtained from vicinal dihaloalkanes by heating with zinc in methanol. In this method, a halogen molecule is removed. Cracking allows large hydrocarbon molecules to be broken down into smaller, more useful hydrocarbon molecules. H32 gives a mixture of ethene, propene and octane. 